Can the R3 handle highways? Fuck no! I'm just kidding. Stick around and find out. So a question I see posted pretty frequently is, can the R3 uh, handle highways if I was commuting? Can a 300 keep up on the highways? Um, fair question, because I was kind of wondering that myself before buying this bike, because I knew that I was going to be uh, having to ride on the highway um, on my commute to school about 20 miles. So. I was pretty interested if, uh, if a 300 could keep up on the highway too. And um, yeah, yeah, it totally can. I mean, it's totally capable of doing uh, 70 miles an hour. It's capable of doing 100 miles an hour. I've, I've posted videos of that, but I'll jump on the highway right here and kind of give you guys um, a look. I mean, you're definitely gonna want to be in your top gear uh, most likely but I mean I'm going um, 75 right now the bikes at 8,000 rpm it has quite a bit of room uh, for acceleration so if you're in a state where the highways are um, under 70 miles an hour, you might not even have to be in sixth gear. I mean, you'd have plenty of uh, room for acceleration and, and tons of cruising speed. Here in Michigan, we have kind of high highway speeds. Generally, they're 70 miles an hour. Um, and like you can see right now, I'm going seven, over 70, and I'm just keeping up with traffic. So people tend to drive pretty quickly. Um, but like I'm saying, the bike isn't struggling at all. I mean, this isn't any sort of issue for it. And if... What the hell is this guy doing? And I mean, as far as passing power, we can get around this truck. Passing power is definitely not a huge deal. Uh, um, so yeah, the bike gets up and goes in a hurry. Uh, you won't have any sort of issue uh, taking it down the highway, even if you have to commute for a while. Like I said, I do about 20, 25 miles from Livonia to Detroit. Uh, and I mean, it, it's no problem. The bike does it. It doesn't even notice it. I mean, the bike's certainly not struggling. The engine's not chugging, and it gets a, right around 50 miles per uh, 50 miles per gallon. So it's economic. Quick little highway run there. Yeah, I mean, the 300 series, they can do the highway stuff, no problem, guys. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of the highway. Um, obviously, the bigger bikes are gonna do it better because they got more engine and they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna ride more stable. Um, but by no means is it unsafe on the highway. Um, and it doesn't struggle at all, I mean, like I said, I was going 80 at 8,000 RPM. And the bike redlines at uh, 12 and a half. So you have quite a, bit, quite a bit of room to go. I've personally had the bike over 100. Um, I think I got to like 105. And the bike was still going. I mean, I, w I would imagine uh, it would have, it would have stopped at like 110 maybe just slightly higher look at that guy 
So yeah, I mean, on normal highway speed, you're gonna have no problem. You can break plenty of laws on a 300. Hope this video helps you out if you were thinking about the R3 or any of the 300s really. Uh, it's an awesome bike, two clutch approved. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you had any questions or want to know more, go ahead and drop a comment. If you want to see more videos like this, more of the bike, more of me, go ahead and subscribe. I will appreciate it. Until then, I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.